What's up? This is Richie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel. And today I'm going to try to fix a broken rod tip with this little rod tip repair kit I found at Walmart. Let's get into it, man. All right, so I'm walking through Walmart the other day, right? Just doing some normal everyday type of shopping. And uh, I wandered over to the fishing section, as I usually do. And I spotted this fishing rod here. It's a 7.3 medium heavy Abu Garcia Vendetta. I like these rods. They're really good for the price. They're, they're around 90 bucks. And uh, I picked this one up and I realized that the tip was off. Somebody, there's a little bit of a white marking here, which kind of suggests that it was maybe pulled out of a tight space, dragged a little bit, and then knocked off the tip, snapped it off. So I pulled out my little Walmart app that I have on my phone and you can scan stuff with it. Sometimes I use it to see, you know, what the prices are. I scan it and it comes up $9. It says Zebco Spincast something. They put a new label on it because it was broken. So nine bucks for a $90 rod. Okay, I'm liking that. So I figured, wonder if I can fix this thing. And all over, they sell this rod tip repair kit by Ozark Trail. So I said, all right, screw it. Nine bucks for the rod, three bucks for the old uh, repair kit. Let's see if I can turn this thing back into a $90 rod. You know what I'm saying? So I got it home. I've never done this before, never used this kit. I'm not sure if I want to go with this glue they give you or if I want to go with some, you know, more hardcore epoxy. But uh, we're going to see what happens here. Now, there's a little bit of a... You're not gonna be able to see it on camera, but there's a little bit of like a splintering off here. I'm hoping that maybe this, this tip will cover it. First things first though, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a, a sandpaper here. And just kind of smooth this out just a little bit. It's not so bad though, man. It was a pretty clean break on this. So just cleaned up that edge this tiny little bit. Apparently this thing comes with three different sizes of rod tips. And it comes with this little glue stick here. All right, so that, that's pretty much your basic glue stick for like a hot glue gun. That stuff's not that strong, man. But I suppose if I use hardcore epoxy, I'll never be able to really get that thing off. So I'm wondering if I do use this glue stick, if that's smarter, because I'll, I'll be able to get this off much easier if, you know, whatever, an insert pops out at some point or, you know, I need to get this thing back off. First and foremost here, we got to figure out what size is going to fit on this. This is the biggest one. Way too big. This is the second biggest one. And I think we're gonna be going with the, uh, the smallest. Yeah, still kind of big, but that's the best size we're gonna find here. Huh, well, I think we're definitely gotta use that one, that's for sure. So what the direction says to do is to use a lighter, heat up the raw tip, heat up the glue stick, put some around that, and then uh, just slide it on. Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, let's give it a try, I suppose. I can always take it off and uh, and do it with epoxy if I, if I don't like it, right? All right, so we're gonna heat this up a little bit. Now I got a heat gun too. But I'm just gonna try to Go with this lighter. And just also scoop a little some of this up. Try to get it into that. See if we can set this thing down onto this. Try 
try to wipe a little bit of this off here. Try to line this up as best I can. It's a little loose. All right, so I got myself a little paintbrush here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna hit this one more time. I'm gonna just try to drip a little bit of this glue back on here. Just gonna put a tiny little dab. that up. I'm just going to try to slowly just kind of rotate this with the brush just to try to Get it a little bit cleaner. And just as that starts to cool off, I'm just gonna keep rotating it a little bit. It's not pretty straight. I just think it's a little too big, so I might have trouble. So in the end, I decided to go with one of the tips that I found on Amazon. It's a great little assortment of different sizes. I linked it in the video description for you. Comes with much better size options, and uh, I think it's really important to use one that fits on as snug as possible right from the start. And I'll tell you, I'm glad I used this hot glue instead of the epoxy when I first tried to do this because it made it way easier to take off. If I had gone with the epoxy, it would have been a bit of a headache to get it back off. So just be mindful of that when you're deciding whether to use epoxy or the hot glue. I mean, the epoxy is definitely going to be more secure, but if you ever need to take it off again, if you crack one of the inserts or bust out an insert or whatever it is, you know, it's going to be way harder to get off with epoxy. So just be mindful and uh, make sure that you get one that fits on really snug right from the start. All right, so there you go, man. Seems to be all dried up. Got it as clean as I could possibly get it. Got it as straight as I could possibly get it. Looks pretty good. And yeah, man, a $9 rod just turned back into a $80, $90 rod. So we'll give it a go. Try it out for yourself. Pretty good little deal. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're into this sort of thing, don't forget to hit subscribe. We put a new video out every single week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Later. If you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching. See ya.